Hello guys, welcome back. I got something that's uh, <clears throat> gonna be big in the news tomorrow, so I figured I'd tell you about it the day before. And this is why we read the news every morning, so we can see what's going on in the market, okay? Because keep in mind, when we're day trading, or when I'm day trading, I trade the S&P 500, which is pretty much the broad market. Okay, now it makes it simple because you don't have to have all these charts and stocks on your watch list, at least not for day trading anyway, but you still need to know what's going on. So tomorrow is a free day. No trading. We're off tomorrow. And here is why. The annual Fed meeting is in Jackson Hole, Wyoming tomorrow. And who knows what they're going to come out and say. And with that being on the uh, agenda for tomorrow, all the talking heads on television and CNBC and Fox Business and Bloomberg and everywhere are going to be looking at every word that he says. Okay. And before he talk, they're going to be trying to predict what he has to say. And with that, that is going to make the market move unpredictably. And it could make it move, you know, way up, way down, up and down, choppy. Who knows what it's going to do, okay? But it could make it too scary for us to trade. So, again, like I say, the biggest thing that makes the market move is news. And this is a big news event for the whole market, okay? And we're trading pretty much the whole market. So... There is no way that I'm going to try to predict how this market is going to move when them guys are going to be talking. And here's the thing. He could come out and say something. And first of all, I don't know what time he's coming out. This is not a normal Fed day. This is an annual Fed meeting thing. Okay. He could come out and say something. And the market may move one way. And then all the talking heads will come out and say something like, he's just talking tough or he's talking hawkish, but he's really not hawkish. He's just talking hawkish to help make things go the way he wanted to go. Or they could come out and say he's talking dovish, which means he's talking soft. And he's just talking soft to make things go the way he wanted to go. Who knows what he's going to say? All I'm saying is, there's no way that I'm going to try to predict it and trade it tomorrow, okay? One day in the big scheme of things is no big deal. And so that's why I don't mess with it. The Fed during this period here where they're raising interest rates a record amount of times, OK, and every time that the interest rates are going up and they're keep raising like this, you're almost going to go into a what they call a hard landing because things won't get right for the, the way they want it to as quick as they want it to. And with that, they're going to keep on. OK, when they raise the interest rates, they call that tightening, they're tightening. And what they're doing is tightening the money supply, make it harder and harder to get money. That's why they call it tightening. When they're cutting interest rate, they call that loosening. They're, what they're doing is loosening the money supply. When you do stuff like make interest rates low and the housing loans interest rate is low, they call that loosening the money supply, which makes it easier to borrow money because you're paying less interest rate, uh, less interest on it. And when you're paying less interest on your money, more people want to borrow. In fact, there was a point in time when the interest rate was at 1% and people were saying, don't even use your own cash. Only use borrowed money because it's so cheap. Okay. At that point in time, people were saying, don't pay cash for nothing because money was too cheap. Well, now money is not cheap anymore. Interest rates are over 7% for a 30-year fixed mortgage on a house. When maybe a few years ago, 
They was only down to three. Some people got two something, okay? So for those people, it had went up triple. And the people that had bad credit, they were getting 4%. Those people now are probably getting 10 or 11%, okay? Anyway, I'm saying all that to say this. I am not trading tomorrow as a day trader. Now, as a long-term investor, you know, you don't, that don't, what he does tomorrow don't affect anything, okay? So, in fact, if it makes your stocks move down, it just may make you make an adjustment tomorrow on a compound collar or something. But as far as day trading, not me. Now, there are some people that try to do it. They try to wait till after he talks or they try to do it before he talks. But keep in mind, I'm pretty sure there's a timetable when he's going to talk. But even before he talks, they're going to be so busy trying to predict what he's going to say until it just makes the market unpredictable. You could have a day where the market opens up, you know, 20 or 30 points. And then in the next hour or so, it go, it could be down 20 or 30 points. So, hey, it's just, not, it's just not worth it. And keep in mind, we try to be predictable. We want our money to be consistent month, day after day after day. And when we lose, we want our losses to be small. Well, tomorrow is a day that we don't have to chance it. We don't chance it because we want the, nothing is 100%. But we want the odds to be in our favor, way over in our favor, okay? So, tomorrow for me, I don't know what I'm going to do. I could go to the, I'm not going to the beach. But it's definitely going to be a play day, okay? That's for sure. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to hit you guys up with. I just want to let you know to beware of, Tomorrow, which is a Friday, and usually Fed days are on a Wednesday, beware of the Jackson Hole meeting in Wyoming by the Fed, okay? It could wreck your life if you were uh, trading it, okay? Or it could make your life great, who knows? But uh, in this case, I'm just not taking those chances. I've learned the hard way. Uh, so, and even if you make it, we're not just trying to make money. We're trying to make money stress-free, the easy, slow life way without a lot of hassle. Now, do we get that all the time? No, but that's what we're trying to do. And when we see that this could be one of those days that could really make life you could, I'm not saying you can't win, but it could make it a little stressful for you. We don't need that in our life, okay? We don't need those extra wrinkles. We don't need that tick up in our blood pressure. We don't need any of that to, to affect us right now when we don't have to do it. So you can watch it if you want to. You can paper trade it if you want to. Just don't put real money out there, okay? At least for me. And guess what else? It could also be an easy day. It really could. I don't think it will. But it could be. But I'm not taking any chances. But anyway, guys. That's all I have for you today. Uh, just wanted you to be aware of this. And take notes of this. And remember this for next year in August. Because this happens annually every year. And they don't. I don't think they put this one on their schedule. I don't think they do. I don't remember seeing it anyway. But I knew it was coming up. I was just waiting on when. And this is the week. But anyway, guys, until the next time, peace out. And I'll see you on the other side.